Imagine stepping into a room where every person you'll lead has more experience than you. They've seen the industry evolve, tackled countless challenges, and in some cases, they may know your role as well as, if not better than, you do. But what if there's another layer? What if some of these senior team members once competed for the very role you now hold? Or perhaps they've worked alongside you, accustomed to being equals, only to now find themselves reporting to you. This is where the complexity deepens. Let's face it, this dynamic can bring underlying tensions, perhaps even moments of skepticism or doubt. You might sense questions that go unspoken. Why were you chosen? Or what makes you fit to lead us? These are natural reactions in a team of experienced individuals, especially when they're adjusting to a leader who may not have their years of tenure. In this tutorial, we'll explore the essentials of leading a team of seasoned professionals step by step. By the end, you'll have a clear roadmap to navigate this unique leadership challenge, turning potential tensions into collaboration and respect. Ready? Let's dive in. So, where do we start? The first critical step is to recognize the experience already in the room. Think about it. How would you feel if someone dismissed your years of knowledge and hard work? In the same way, acknowledging the depth of your team members' expertise sets the stage for mutual respect. But here's a question for you. How do you show appreciation without sounding insincere or just checking a box? One powerful way is through your actions. Instead of jumping into directions and strategies, take the time to ask about their background, what challenges they've tackled, and what they believe works best. These small but impactful conversations show that you're not just leading them, you're willing to learn from them. Try simple questions like, what approaches have you found most successful with this type of project? Or, what do you think we should be mindful of as we move forward? Keep this way for some time in order to gain trust and get closer to the team. Once the team will trust you, the team dynamics and engagement will increase and will benefit from both the past experiences and the new approaches. Now that you've started on a foundation of respect, let's move to the next step, goal setting. You might wonder, why not just set goals on my own and present them to the team? Well, when everyone is involved in setting goals, they don't just see the end result, they feel a sense of ownership. So, how do you bring everyone together around common objectives? Invite them to a goal-setting session where you can collectively define what success looks like. Here, it's crucial to highlight how these goals align with the company's broader mission, making each task feel connected to something larger. You'll find that experienced team members often appreciate understanding the why behind the what. They've seen different strategic angles, and bringing their perspective into your goals can turn good ideas into great ones. Imagine the difference between, here's our goal for the quarter, versus, let's discuss how we can align our team's strengths with our goals for the quarter. What do you think? Now, you might be thinking, once we've set our goals, how do I actually manage the team without coming across as too controlling? That's a key point. Experienced professionals often prefer autonomy and thrive when they feel trusted. This is where facilitative leadership comes in. Instead of positioning yourself as the all-knowing authority, try to be the guide who removes obstacles, opens up opportunities, and supports their progress. Think of it like steering a ship. Your team members already know how to sail. Your role is to make sure the waters are clear. So, how do you show them that you're there to support rather than command? One approach is to check in regularly, not to micromanage, but to ask, is there anything you need from me? Or how can I help support this project? When they see that your priority is to help them succeed, they'll feel both empowered and respected. This builds trust, and over time, they'll start to view you as a leader who's got their back. By now, 
you've acknowledged their experience, engaged them in goal setting, and established your role as a facilitator. But here's the real question. How do you deepen that trust? Trust doesn't happen overnight. It's built through consistent, transparent communication. Experienced team members often value understanding the reasoning behind decisions. They want to know that there's thought and strategy involved, not just orders handed down from above. This is especially true if you're making changes to established ways of working. Start by explaining your thought process openly. You don't have to reveal every detail, but sharing your perspective on why certain strategies or decisions are being considered can make a huge difference. And don't hesitate to share when you're uncertain. Admitting that you're still learning and growing is a strength, not a weakness. It shows humility and signals that you're genuinely invested in what's best for the team. Now, you may wonder, what if they ask questions I don't have answers for? That's actually an opportunity. Let them know that you'll find the answers together or seek out resources. This builds a collaborative spirit and shows that you respect their input as part of the decision-making process. Building a cohesive team doesn't mean treating everyone exactly the same. Every person on your team is unique, and many seasoned professionals appreciate when their manager takes the time to understand their individual motivations. So, what's the best way to go about this? Begin with one-on-one -on -one conversations focused on their goals, values, and what they enjoy about their work. For example, a question as simple as, what motivates you most about your role, can open up valuable insights. This not only helps you manage them more effectively, but also shows that you genuinely care about their journey and well-being. And here's a bonus. When team members see that you understand and value them individually, they're far more likely to rally together as a team. By now, you've built a foundation of trust and respect. So, how do you turn this into actionable results? One of the most impactful ways is to leverage each team member's strengths. With a seasoned team, you're working with people who already have well-defined skills and specialties. Instead of distributing tasks equally, consider how each person's unique expertise can be harnessed. Here's a scenario. Imagine a team member with extensive knowledge in project management. Rather than assigning them a basic task, why not involve them in planning or even leading a project? This shows that you recognize and value their expertise, and it also makes them feel like they're contributing at the highest level. And remember, leveraging strengths goes both ways. As you assign responsibilities, consider asking, is there an area you'd like to focus on or lead? By doing this, you're not only respecting their skills, but also giving them a voice in shaping their role on the team. So, what's next? How do you build on this foundation to ensure long-term success? The answer lies in consistency and fairness. Experienced professionals have likely encountered various leadership styles over the years, and they can quickly spot inconsistency or bias. To earn their respect, you need to be a steady presence, firm on values, but flexible on methods. Consider this. Your values act as the anchor the non-negotiables that guide the team. But when it comes to how work gets done, allow them some freedom to approach tasks in their way. For example, our goal is clear, but I trust your judgment in deciding how best to achieve it. This balance shows that while you have a clear vision, you respect their expertise to make independent choices. And as a final touch, lead by example. Model the behavior you expect from them, whether it's dedication, transparency, or adaptability. Over time, your consistency will foster a culture of respect and reliability that your team can count on. Finally, here's a question to wrap up this journey. How do you keep growing as a leader while staying connected to your team's needs? The answer is simple, yet powerful. Feedback. Experienced professionals are often direct, and they appreciate a leader who can take feedback constructively. Inviting their insights, 
especially early on, shows that you value continuous improvement. Encourage them to share what's working and where adjustments could be beneficial. And remember, feedback is only as effective as your response to it. By adapting based on their input, you show a willingness to evolve in ways that benefit the entire team. It sends the message that you're here, not just to lead, but to grow with them. Let's recap the eight essential steps to successfully leading a team of experienced professionals, recognizing both the challenges and the unique opportunities that come with it. Acknowledge their experience and expertise. Start by honoring the knowledge and skills each member brings to the table, showing genuine respect for their background. Focus on collaborative goal setting. Bring everyone together to define shared goals, giving them a sense of ownership and purpose that transcends individual roles. Embrace a facilitative leadership style. Position yourself as a supporter who empowers rather than directs, enabling your team to perform at their best. Build trust through transparency. Cultivate open, honest communication by sharing your reasoning and being forthright about areas where you're still learning. Invest in building relationships. Develop a deeper understanding of each team member's motivations and aspirations, showing them that you see them as individuals, not just contributors. Leverage their strengths. Assign roles that align with their expertise, demonstrating trust in their skills while fostering a more effective, productive team. Establish yourself as a consistent, fair leader. Lead with steady values, but allow flexibility in approach, building a balanced culture of respect and autonomy. Adapt your leadership style based on feedback. Stay responsive by actively seeking and incorporating feedback, demonstrating that you're invested in evolving alongside your team. These steps are designed to guide you in overcoming the challenges of leading a seasoned team, where trust, respect, and collaboration are paramount. It's an opportunity to create a high-performing environment built on mutual appreciation and shared goals. There's a critical insight here. Leadership isn't about doing any one thing perfectly the first time. It's about consistently showing up and refining your approach. If you build a habit of genuinely respecting, empowering, and collaborating with your team, each interaction reinforces this culture of mutual respect. Once you establish this pattern of thoughtful, consistent leadership, it becomes second nature. It sets the foundation for a trusted leadership style that endures, even as challenges arise or circumstances shift. And in time, you'll find that the skills you develop here won't just lead to success with this team. They'll prepare you to thrive in any leadership scenario you encounter in the future. By embracing these principles as part of your day-to-day -day interactions, you'll not only earn the respect of your seasoned team, but also grow into a leader who can adapt, inspire, and lead with impact every single time. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your attention. In the next tutorial, we will have an in-depth session about a broader topic, which is building a cohesive team, which is a spectrum of critical skills needed not only for new leaders, but also for any leader joining a new team. Till then, stay well and sound and see you soon. Thank you.